Hi, this is Suniti. So I'm going to do a follow-up on how to keep your African violets in constant bloom. So a couple of weeks ago, I think it was, when I showed how to pinch off the blooms. Today I've pinched off, I've actually cut away more. Here are the blooms that I cut away. In fact, even some with stems. And as you can see, they're pretty dried and gone. So those are the blooms I cut away and I looked for buds. Did we have more buds? So here we are. Here you can see there's more fresh buds here. And you have to look between the first layer and the second layer of the leaves. Like here is the first layer and the second layer. And you can see there's some buds growing there as well. And here is a flower that is kind of dry here. But I left it alone. I suppose I could pinch it off. Maybe I'll pinch it off. But a little very delicately because, you know, there's a bud growing there. There's a bud right there. So I have to be very careful when you pinch off the old blooms not to hurt the old buds. So uh, here we are. So I can see that there are lovely new buds coming up between the first and the second leaf layer. That's where you look. So that's it. I think I'll get some more wonderful blooms. And that's how you'll keep the African violet in constant bloom. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.